I'm going to quickly show you how to achieve aerated light consistency in your raw vegan desserts. And the trick here is to always make sure your nuts are soaked. It's just so it breaks down nicely in a blender and you get that nice uh, creamy texture. And basically, let's just say for example, here I'm not teaching you how to make this recipe. What I'm doing is teaching you how to make a really beautiful, light, fluffy dessert. So, just say you've got your nuts in the recipe, whatever recipe that you got. Yeah, you put it in a blender, whether it's Sunbeam, Vitamix, any kind of strong blender that you got. And then, a um, bit of water, you've got your liquid. I'm gonna put half a cup to a cup. And I'm gonna blend it till it's nice and creamy. Basically, right now, you've only mixed your water and your nuts, or coconut water, or liquid and nuts. And what you do is test it out. See, I've got lumps in here. Make sure it's not lumpy. You wanna make sure that it's just like body cream or face cream. Not that I know anything about that. So once you've got that sorted, the next thing to really do is uh, add your spices. So I'm just going to put some nutmeg in here. Um, look, spices could be anything. It could be cinnamon, it could be salt, it could be um, saffron, truffle, anything. Pink peppercorn. And I'm going to add my vanilla beans. Let's just say you've got vanilla beans in there, or vanilla extract, or vanilla essence. And um, so your spices and your sweetener always go together. That's the second stage. Once you got the second stage, okay. So agave or yacon syrup or coconut sugar, date paste, whatever that you're going to be using as a sweetener, always goes into the second stage. Blend that up. And that's it. And then last, coconut. The fat. The fat is always last. So whether it's just coconut oil, coconut butter, cacao butter, uh, you pour it in there last and with a gentle blend. And if you're adding chocolate, you add the chocolate after the fat. So then it's just slightly blended. You don't want to overheat chocolate in any way. Or over blend chocolate with the fat or anything else too long. And that's it. You add your coconut whatever much, as long as you follow the recipe. That's it, you do this, you follow this, you follow this rule with your ice creams, your cheesecakes, your chocolate mousse, your brulees, whatever that you're going to be doing in the raw vegan world, you follow these three steps and it's just gonna be successful every time.